Hey, well, thanks for coming in. I, thanks for sharing your story about Eurolift and your prostate, and how was it? Well, I'll tell you what. Um, you talked me about it. I had, You had talked about the traditional way of going through and vaporizing. There was this new procedure, and they would approve it with press, and they did, and I said, I'm a candidate for it. But it was starting to come on in terms of restricted flow, intermittent flow, getting up at night, and I could feel it gradually going on. You explained the enlarged prostate that's part of getting older. So here I am, 70, I said, it's worth a try. Um, we were approved, we went through procedure. It, it wasn't the most comfortable. However, the first week, there was a lot of trauma within the P-tube and stuff like this, the blood clots. I said, ouch. But after about a week, it started, immediately I noticed a difference between the bladder and your control head, so to speak, the flow would go through. And after the trauma, the sting went away. This last five days will have been two weeks. Things like it used to be before. I don't have the urgency at night. When I go pee, I start, it goes through, and it stops, I finish. There's no intermittent. I don't feel the urge to go out and pee. Um, once a night now, at my age, that's the average to get up. So I get up. But basically, whatever you did worked. Okay? So for it, it, it's a little uncomfortable going through the procedure. But if there's no other issues, no cysts or whatever, it's an enlarged prostate, I think it's worth the effort because in my thing, what happened before and here I am sitting now it's like something happened you went in there and did something and it worked okay well thank you for your time give us a thumbs up you got it and if you don't mind I'll put this up to YouTube some other guys can learn about the process right. you can uh, you have my permission to do it thank okay? you very much sir you're welcome sir